Alright everyone, welcome back again to more Fate Stay Night. And oh look, we got kidnapped by Ilya. There's no body in the room. My body feels heavy, but not so bad that I can't even lift a finger like before. If I really work at it, I might be able to lift an arm. Maybe not. My drowsy mind's only draws to full alertness. I realize I'm in danger and so I study my surroundings carefully. It's not as bad as I imagined, but I still can't move. My whole body's weirdly tingly, and I can't get up with my arms tied behind me. There's nothing in here to tell me what time it is. A window. There's a window behind me. I try to turn to get a look, but the curtains are closed, so I can't see outside. All I can say for sure is that the sun's set. I ran into Ilya in the morning, so it's been at least half a day. I don't have time for this. I have no idea where I am, but I need to get back to Saber as fast as I can. Saber's in a weakened state. I can't be even more of a burden to her by letting something like this happen. I try to make my arms move. If I'm going to escape, I have to do something about these ropes around my wrists. The door opens. I go still just as Ilya enters the room. Ilya's not acting at all like she had earlier. The coldness in her eyes is gone, and she's back to acting like a cheerful girl she's been at the park the other day. Ilya peers into my face looking puzzled. She seems genuinely concerned for me. I don't know if that's good or bad, but at least I understand what's going on a little better. I speak flatly, trying to kill my emotions. Until I understand completely what's happening here, I just need to listen. そうか。I find myself recoiling. Ilya pushes her face closer to me, ignoring my agitation. Ilya, shut up. I, I know it's inappropriate, but the way Ilya sits on my lap has my heart racing. She may not be heavy, but the way she's sitting on my lap has me thinking kind of graphic thoughts. No. Ilya's words are so pure and heartfelt. I know that if I nod even once, it'll be a choice I can't unmake, and I will absolutely come to regret it. On the other hand, if I refuse, that purity will turn into pure wickedness. 
With Ilya leaning so close, my mind grinds to a shrieking halt. She's not saying this just because she likes me. It's more like an interrogation. A matter of whether I want to live or die. ま、ただ、ま、ただ、ま、ただ、ま、ただ、ま、ただ、ま、ただ、ま、ただ、ま、ただ、ま、ただ、ま、ただ、ま、ただ、ま、ただ、ま、ただ、ま、ただ、ま
もっともそれは昨日の話だけど予想外といえば予想外だったかな私あいつはお兄ちゃんが手を下すって思ってたのに<笑> That instant I surprisingly understand exactly what she's talking about Ellie was in the building last night which means she must have seen the master running for his life as the perfect prey She doesn't sound guilty at all. It probably meant nothing to her. It makes me realize something. I've probably known this since the moment we first met. She really doesn't know the difference between good and evil. That innocent laugh is just as much Ilya as the merciless laugh I hear now. It's not that Ilya has a devil on one shoulder and an angel on the other. Ilya, however angelic she may look, is a devil. それじゃあ行ってくるわ帰ってきたらシロの番なんだからせいぜい逃げ出す努力でもしていなさいもっともカゴから逃げ出せないから小鳥は小鳥なのお兄ちゃんじゃこの鳥カゴからは出られないでしょうけど。Ilya leaves. She is absolutely right, of course. She knows nothing of threats or tactics, so she just says what's true. But I can't stay here forever. I need to escape and meet up with Saber before Ilya can attack her. And we're gonna try by breaking out. I shake myself trying to loosen the ropes around my wrists. Maybe she really doesn't think I can escape. There's no one else here. If I'm not being watched, even I can manage to get out of some ropes, but... My body just won't listen to me. My limbs move, but they're heavy as lead, and just trying to move at all is exhausting. I can't move like this. Even if I get out of the rope, I won't be able to escape the room if I can hardly move. They must be mystic eyes. I hear truly superior mages can perform some sort of magecraft just by making eye contact with their target. Restraint is a common effect of mystic eyes, so that's probably what's going on here. Eyes are how we take in visual information and so are susceptible to suggestion and spells. And that is why most mages employ some sort of protection on their eyes to block out other mages' magecraft. <laughs> Well, at least that was from Mystic Eyes learned through Magecraft. Some monsters are born with Mystic Eyes and don't even need to lock eyes with their target. I hear all they need to do is look to use whatever ability they have, but it's also extremely rare for people to have powers like that. And, luckily, Ilya's Mystic Eyes aren't unique or special. They're just a means of sending magical energy at a target. And that means there has to be a way to dispel the effect. Ilya's magical energy is invading my nerves, preventing me from moving. If I can get rid of that magical energy, that should fix my paralysis. I close my eyes and focus inward, on my own body. I may not have the skill to detect and remove foreign magical energy that's invaded my body, but I don't need anything like that, so long as I'm dealing with magical energy that hasn't become a curse and taken root in my body. If Ilya's magical energy is lingering, stagnant in my body, I just need a strong flow of magical energy through my body to flush it out. I apologize to my body for what I'm about to put it through. All I have to do is focus on my daily routine. The ritual where I force a foreign nerve down my spine. No, not anymore. I don't need to build it from scratch anymore. Now all I have to do is flip the switch in my head. Instead of creating a magical circuit in my body, I just have to switch my nerves into a magic circuit. Yes. Oh. I remember this spell to focus myself. You don't use spells to change the world around you. They're to be used on yourself to empower you to change the world. For mages, they are a way of to initiate a kind of self-transformation. Spells are the first, most basic magecraft used to create a mystic just for you. A command that will only work on you. 
My blood flow accelerates. Power builds in my blood. My body is becoming a machine for circulating magical energy. Probably thanks to the gem Tosaka made me swallow. Normally, this would take me at least an hour. Now, I'm able to do it almost instantly. I don't even I don't even need to flip the switch at this rate. I can just let the magical energy circulate and let my hands go. Actually, I say flip the switch, but I still haven't found the switch to begin with. Heat rushes into me. I try to get control over my pounding heart, and my hands slip from the bucking reins. Blood spritz from my mouth. I must have opened a vein or torn something inside myself. I channeled enough magical energy to flush out the mud that invaded me, so it's no wonder I'm throwing up blood. Luckily, I don't feel any pain. It's an abnormality in my body that I still don't understand, but I'm delighted to have it at a time like this. The ability to heal any non-fatal wound is my biggest and only strength right now. I do need to be careful not to rely on it too much though, since I still have no idea how it works. Relying on it too much risks losing it all. So I can't rely on miracles I don't understand. I undo the rope. My wrists are bruised, but I, was, I wasn't bound tightly enough to cut off circulation. I don't think Ilya tied me up, but I wasn't bound very tightly. Besides, I thought it was Ilya who carried me in here anyway. Who here other than Ilya might not be all that strong? I rise to my feet as I try to crack a joke. I can't control my body, but I pushed it too far. While I may not be injured, magical energy is raging through my body. Just moving around is likely to tear my insides up. It's probably the pain. Dizziness and nausea rack my entire body, and I have no feeling at the ends of my arms and legs. I'm not going to get home before Ilya gets back, and I like this. I slap my cheeks and start walking. What? As soon as I lean against the wall and start toward the door, I hear something on the other side of the wall. Footsteps. More than one set of footsteps. People are approaching my door and talking. They stop right in front of my door. There's no time to hide. I need to... Oh, okay. I just have to fight. The moment the door opens, I make the first move. I'm in no state to fight. I'll sit in the chair and pretend I'm tied up. What about the bed over there? All right, we're gonna we're gonna save here just in case, just in case. Excellent. All right, I'm gonna stay back in the chair. Pretend I am uh, tied up, looking all defenseless. <laughs> There's no time for me to hesitate. I can't possibly fight like this, so I need to be careful until I've recovered. <laughs> Put my wrist together to make it look like I'm tied up. The door opens. Could it be Ilya or someone else from the castle? I just need to remain sitting here, looking like I'm bound up, right up to the very last moment when the person comes into the room and. My eyes widen. For a moment, I genuinely think I'm just hallucinating out of sheer desperate hope. I bring my hands out front. いや、なるほど。敵を油断させて Saber looks impressed. I am not going to tell her that I hadn't managed to think any farther than that. I stand up and touch Saber. Shiro, 
あ,あけどどうしてここにどどうしてなんてそんなことは言うまでもないでしょうサーバントがマスターを守るのに理由はいりませんシロウがとらわれたのなら助けに来るのは当然ではないですかあ,あいやだからどうして俺が捕まったって知ってるんだよあいやそんなことよりどうしてここにいるんだセイバーここはイリアの隠れ家だぞ今のセイバーが近寄っていい場所じゃないそそれは私のセリフですあなたこそ何をやっていたのですか一人で行動するなどあれほど言っていたのにやすやすとイリアスピールに拉致されこのような場所に監禁されるなんてシロはマスター失格ですこの件については何らかの謝罪をしてもらわなければ気が済みません確かにそれは軽率だったけどどうしてセイバーがここにいるんだセイバー満足に動けないんだろだっていうのにイリアの本拠地に来るなんて何考えてるんだあなたこそ何を考えているのですサーバントはマスターを守るものシロウが囚われたのですからイリアスピールの本拠地だろうと関係はありませんセイバーは本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当に本当シロどうしたのです急に黙り込んでややはり捕まっている間に傷を負ったのですかあ,あいやそうじゃない俺のことはいいんだそれよりセイバーこそ元気そうでよかった I'm genuinely relieved I'm surprised to see Saber here but I'm much happy to see that she's herself I know it's selfish of me to think this way but I think this is how Saber should be すまなかったなセイバー事情はよくわからないけど俺を助けに来てくれたんだろあはいサーバントとしてマスターを救うのは当然ですからありがとうお前が来てくれて本当に助かった What a relief Everything sorted itself out Now I just need to get out of here with Saber Wait a minute Is that Tosaka? Tosaka. Um, are you real? And are you really right here? I thought you were going to be fine. 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 自分だけは生き延びるのだ今回のはいい機会だった見捨てておけば勝手に死んでくれたものをああアーチャー You miss me too come on 聞き捨てなりませんアーチャー助力を頼んだのは私ですがあなたにシロを侮辱する権利などないはずです<笑>いざ主が助かればそれかマスターもマスターならサーバントもサーバントだ協力者に対するありがたみなどないようだなまあいずれ戦う身だ情など持たれない方がやりやすくはあるがいまさかネーヴァセーバーグロスサイレンディスガイヒスナジスタンフレンリーとミーヒチューセーバーデサイムウェイそこまでよ今がどんな状況なのか忘れてるわけじゃないでしょうねあーちゃんおしゃべりなんてしてる暇はないわイリアスフィールが戻ってくる前に撤退しないとちょっと待ってくれ遠坂たちはここがイリアの住みかだって知っててきたのかいやそもそもエリア left saying she was gonna kill Tosaka and Saber that means Ilya and Tosaka passed each other 助かった今頃イリアはうちに向かってると思う。トウサカたちがここに来てくれなかったら、イリアと戦う羽目になってた。ええ、そうみたいね。イリアとバースアカーが外に出たのは確認したわ。まあ、そうでもなければ、こんなところまで忍び込まないけど。I get it. Saber and Tosaka only managed to pull something so bold off because they saw Ilya leave. 
She's bold as ever, but this time, that brazenness worked to our advantage. I'm impressed. Tosaka gestures for me and Saber to separate. Tosaka, Saber na sonna choshi te doko ga da yo. Tao iro mo ii shi, mo izen no Saber ja nai ka. Anata ne, sonna tsugo no ii hanashi ga aru wake nai desho. Saber wa mattaku kaifuku shite nai wa.立っているだけが精一杯って見てわからないリンそれは黙っていると約束したはずです悪いわねそんなのハキよ黙っていてもマイナスなだけだしそもそも隠し通せる問題じゃないわそれはそうですが she sounds so pained, and I've seen nothing has changed about her situation. そういえば、今の話は本当なのか。はい。リンの言うことは正しい。恥ずかしい話ですが、今の私ではセイバーとして戦うことはできません。できることといえば。白の盾になることぐらいでしょうか。そんなことだろうと思ったわ。武装もできないぐらい弱ってるくせに一緒に行くって聞かないんだもの。戦えない代わりにマスターをかばおうとでも思ったんでしょう。She's so weak she can't even arm herself. She was willing to become my shield since she couldn't fight. What kind of absurd nonsense is she saying? Smanai Shiro. Kono yona karada deva, Sarban to Shikakura to a wakate masna. Sore demo, Tateno Yakuari wa dekimas. Fukura to a moi masna. Ima wa sore de. Oh, come on. Why does Saber never think about herself? Why is she only ever worried about everyone else? No, 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 man. Sounds pretty. Familiar, don't wouldn't you say? Huh, Shiro? Fusakena! Sonna no Fukuni Kimatu Daro! Tosaka! Oh, my Nanda, the Saber of Sredikanda! Ima or no Kotori, Saber no Hoga Zuto Dajita, the Wakatan Janaioga! Nani, oh, what does that the Hunter Stavayo? Kedo, Saber, a dose them up to Kikanashi. Some of some Saber Janito, Anta no Ibasha Wakaranakatawa. I want to tell that she shouldn't have brought Saber, but I stopped myself. I have no business criticizing. This is only happening because I went and got captured. Tosaka and Saber were just doing what they thought was right. ユーチョに説明している暇はないぞ。そうね。イリアスフィールのやつ。今頃慌てて戻ってきているコロダモノね。いいわ。話は後にしてあげる。今はこの城から出ることが先決よ。それでいいわね、シロ。シロ、私た